Today, I'm convening this meeting to follow through on my promise to secure crucial infrastructure and the networks that we've been talking so much about over the last period of time of the federal government against cyber threats. I will hold my Cabinet secretaries and agency heads accountable, totally accountable, for the cybersecurity of their organization, of which we probably don't have as much, certainly not as much as we should have. We must defend and protect federal networks and data. We operate these networks on behalf of the American people, and they are very important and very sacred. We will empower these agencies to modernize their IT systems for better security and other reasons. We will protect our critical infrastructure, such as power plants and electrical grids. The electrical grid problem is a problem, but we'll have it solved relatively soon. We must work with private sector — the private sector is way ahead of government in this case — to ensure that owners and operators of critical infrastructure have the support they need from the Federal Government to defend against cyber threats. Now, I think a pretty good example of this was, despite having spent hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars more money than we did, the Democratic National Committee was hacked successfully, very successfully, uh, and terribly, frankly. And the Republican National Committee was not hacked, meaning it was hacked, but they failed. Uh, it was reported, I believe, by Reitz and other people that it was hacked but we had a very strong uh, defense system against hacking. So despite spending a lot less money than the Democrats — and, in all fairness, winning — people don't say that — we spent a lot less money, Admiral, and we won. That's good, right? Isn't that a good thing, when you can spend less and win? But we were also uh, very successful in our defense against hacking. We're going to make sure that cybersecurity is central to both our military and the ships, planes, and tanks built by great Americans for our great American military. And our military will be — come stronger and stronger as we go along.